Alim, that who knows a lot. Shakil, this one who is who's very beautiful. Okay, see the, the, the weight of the word? Shakal is, is some face or something. But when you say Shakil, you're saying that it has beauty in it. A lot of beauty. Okay? So, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompassing and all-knowing. Okay? Of no one. Okay, so that is the end of this ayah number 115. Let's go to the ayah number 116. Okay. Okay. So the word is... So what's your means encompassing and no... Uh, Knower, one who knows everything, okay. knowledgeable. Shakal means, you can say face, but Shakil is the one who has beautiful face. Waqalu Wa means and and Qa This word is from these root letters Kaf, Wow, and the Lam. This means to say okay. and Kalu means they said. Kala means he said, you know, and Kalu is the plural, and that means they said. They said. So some people said something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying about some people who said something. Okay, it comes next, what are they saying? Okay. So vakal and they said. Vakalu okay. and they said. And they said. Okay. What did they say? Who are those people? What they are saying? Okay. Okay. So the next word starts with Alif Ha and Zal. Alif Ha and Zal. Hmm. This has several meanings like to to draw a conclusion or something. But actual word that we want to learn is if it tahaza. We put an alif there and with this word. Actually this word can also there is another word which is close to that which is ta ha and za. So either here or there, if we put an alif and a ta in the beginning, it becomes ittahaza. Ittahaza means he took. Ittahaza, he took. Okay. It means to take something. Okay, because it is like a faala past tense of third person. This is he took. Someone took something. We say ittahaza. And here, it is also meant that someone adopted something, or someone chose something, or someone took something. Itta khaza. Akhaza and itta khaza, it goes to a different bab, which is called bab e iftala, in that the meaning changes. The meaning became now, he took. Okay? So, some people say, Wakalu and they say Ittahaza. He took something. Okay? But the word after that is Allahu. So we don't have to use the word he, it will become Allah took. So 
when you combine it tahaza with allahu okay so let's write it down so you have it tahaza and you combine this with allahu When you read this together, so this word ittahaza zal will be combined with the lam. So you do not recite this alif here. So it becomes ittaha zalla. Okay. So because we are not reading this alif, the rule is that we just put a swad on this alif. Whenever you do not recite the alif in between, you put a swab becomes hamza tul wasal, which means just leave it writing there. Do not read it, and read it like ittahazallahu. Ittahazallahu means Allah took, or Allah has taken, or Allah has chosen, or Allah has adopted. Okay, these are the same, you know, meanings close to each other. So ittahaz Allah means Allah has taken. Allah has. It's a past tense, so it is a has taken. They say, and they say, and some people say that Allah has taken. What is that He has taken? The next word is. It starts with wow. Lam and Dal. This means to give birth. Okay. And Wala Dun means child. Wala Dun means child. Actual word is waladun. The word is waladun. Waladun means child. Okay. But when this word comes as a maful, as an object, it is it changes state into waladun. It depends. Uh, you know, we have discussed a few times that if a word is used as a subject, then it keeps its original format. But if it is being used an object then it changes to dhummas to two fathas becomes wala dan if we are saying child is doing something then it will remain wala dun okay. but if someone is doing something on a child then in this sentence you will not use wala dun but you will use wala dan so from this sentence we can tell if a name or a person is object or a subject if someone if the, that person is doing something or something is being done on that person okay so here something is taking that child so it has to be a wala dan okay so waqalu takhazallahu wala dan they said that allah has taken a child or he has taken a son this is what it means they say that allah subhanahu wa taala has adopted he has taken for himself a son <laughs> okay they, so this is what allah subhanahu wa taala is telling there are some there are some people and there are a lot of people like all the christians say that thing, okay that allah has a son okay so this is what allah is saying that they said allah has a son okay child so now allah subhanahu wa taala is answering them allah is answering by saying 
सुबहानहु so the word is it starts with c ba and ha okay and subhana means glory subhana means glory or glorified someone who has been glorified सुबहानी glory is his okay means he is pure he doesn't take a child okay he is the one who should be glorified so subhanahu wa subhanahu glory be like we say subhanallah a glory to him all the praise or all the glory is for allah so instead of allah we using the word who okay he be glorified Okay. He be praised. Glory to him. Glory to him. Okay. So they said Allah has taken a child. So Allah is denying that by saying all the glory belongs to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He does not need to take a child. Okay. So this would be glory to him. Now the next word is bal. Okay, bal. There, the best way to describe the word bal is bal. Is nay, but. Okay, nay means no. Okay, but. as we use the but in english so allah is saying no but the fact is something else they are saying that allah has taken child allah says allah is glorified big be glorified but name is no no means what they are saying is wrong okay but but means what the fact is the fact is lahu ma fi samawat okay the fact is lahu la and hu la means to and hu means him and that's the word lahu to him means belong to him he is the owner he is the one who everything belongs to so but bal means ne but Name is strong no, but lahu means to him, belongs to him. Okay. <clears throat> Ma means whatever. Ma means whatever. Yeah, this is this is uh, um, if you notice that in the Indo-Pak Quran, you see a little right, vertical alif there. That is to like a this is like a kasra, but you have to read read two times. Okay, so this is a, this is a kasra. Okay, but if it is this way. By putting a little wa means read this to stress yes. this twice. Lahu, Lahu. yeah. Okay. 
Lahu means to him or belongs to him. Okay. Whatever, whatever feed is in. Whatever is in. 